you are going to have what it is that you say. You are not going to have what I say. You're not going to have what your spouse says. A lot of times people get upset. Somebody says something bad about them. And they think, oh my goodness, well I don't want that to happen. You're not going to have what mean people say. Jesus is very clear. You are going to have what you say. I know, and I, I was thinking about this in the area where healing is concerned. You know, there, there are uh, often times that I'm asked to pray for people where healing is concerned. And I, I think that sometimes there is a thinking that, you know, a pastor maybe, you know, might be magic. That he can do something that we can't do. <clears throat> Listen, I operate in this just exactly the same way you operate in it. Okay, now then. There is also, with the office, there is an anointing that goes along with it. And there are times that that anointing is uh, particular or present for healing. Those those, uh, occasions do occur. Not all the time. If that anointing is present, then I'm going to minister with you under the anointing. And that anointing is the the power of God. It's the burden-removing, yoke-destroying power of God. And we can expect great, wonderful results when that anointing is present. Uh, there are other times that I pray for you and that anointing is not present. However, the anointing is always on the Word. So if we come together as believers, which the Bible promises us, these signs shall follow those that believe. That would be a believer. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So we're believers. We lay hands on the sick and they recover. Uh, James chapter 5 says, Is there any sick among you? Let them call for the elders of the church. The elders of the church pray for you. That would, you know, the chief elder here at this church would be me, the pastor. So, uh, call for the elders of the church. They pray the prayer of faith. And if they didn't commit any sins, they'll be forgiven. And the prayer of faith will raise them up. The prayer of what? Prayer of faith will raise them up. So, there are different ways. There there are different ways. methods or means that we have laid out in the bible to receive healing now if and i've had this happen before there there are times that people will get you to pray for them and they're just kind of relying completely on you they they just think well well okay uh you know i I mean something's going to happen when uh, when this person prays for me and then they get prayed for and they don't feel anything And so they think, well, dear Lord, it didn't work. Listen, the Word always works. It may not work as fast as you think it ought to work, but it always works. And what happens, and this is what I encourage people to do, is if you call me and you want me to pray for you over the phone, which happens quite often, if if you come to me at a service or, or, you know, wherever, and I pray for you and lay hands on you, the result of that is going to be whatever it is that you say, whatever it is that comes out of your mouth. Your mouth has to line up with what it is that we are agreeing for. If we're agreeing, and I've done, I've, this has happened many a time. I, I have prayed for people, Pastor, I'd like for you to agree with me. And, and I'll pray with them. And you know, about a week later, I, I, I'm, I'm talking to them and, I, and I'm listening to them. And I realize we're not in agreement. One of us believe, is believing and one is not. There has to, if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna pray the prayer of agreement, one of the qualifications <laughs> you have to be in agreement. And and the most sure sound place that you can be where that's concerned is in agreement with what the word says. 